Hello everyone, we are Project Group 2 and this is Team Elite Management and this is our final finger puppet management presentation. This is Jet, Eni, Niri, Ryan, and Nicholas. Alright, so we'll start off with our introduction. Our mission is to cover management and uses of design thinking for problem solving to educate viewers how to restructure the business about approaches towards management and inspire others through finger puppet management. Our target market is for all ages who are intellectual, innovative, and comedy lovers. But even more than that, our target market is also centered around our peers at the college age level. The TV show Chronology is, you know, centered around Breaking Bad, The Walking Dead, stuff like that. And we're going to get into more of this as we go on throughout the video, so stay tuned. As we progress, you're going to notice some key concepts that arise in our videos, which are moral versus unethical thoughts, improving listening skills, competitive advantage, ethical decisions, superior value, socialization and training concepts, and on-the-job training techniques. One of the concepts that we put a lot of focus on was morals versus ethics. And when it comes to that, the question arises, if something is moral, does it necessarily mean it's ethical? And vice versa, if something is ethical, does it necessarily mean it's moral? This is a question that arises a lot in the business world, especially with regards to management and making decisions from the top down. So you're going to hear a little bit more about this as we progress into our next slides. Now we're going to delve into our main characters. So Bob is the CEO of Hooters Incorporated, and during the job, he drinks all day. Most of the wealth he inherited from his father. He's a womanizer. Most of the employees dislike him, and he lacks leadership and ethical decision-making. Another thing to note is that most of the decisions that Bob makes trickle from the top down, and it usually affects the company in a negative way. Next, we have Steve. He's the vice president. He holds a Ph.D. from USF in business. He's young, innovative, and enthusiastic individual. He's a truly inspiring leader, and everyone likes him because he's outgoing. Steve is someone that people can look at as a role model, someone that people will come up and talk to anytime because he's very comfortable with who he is. Next up on our main characters, we have Lisa. She's a USF college graduate from the business management program. She's the current floor manager for Jennifer and Barbie. She's very self-assured. She believes in hard work and dedication. She's typically very calm, and she has fantastic listening skills. After that, we have Barbie. She's a USF college dropout. No life skills. She's very naive and she has no standards, meaning that she'll take whatever comes her way. After that, we have Jennifer. She's very confident. She has fantastic listening skills. She's very educated, and she's an all-around calm person, meaning that in the midst of the storm, she can maintain a constant and pure sense of calmness because she knows who she is. She's also very highly ethical, and someone that people look at as a role model. Now we're going to take a look at episode one. This is covering moral versus unethical thoughts. One day, Jennifer was telling her Barbie about how she wants a raise, but the business will not offer more hours, and tips aren't that great for the season. So one day, Jennifer mentioned to Barbie that a guest of the restaurant had walked out without tipping her. Barbie told her to just put this down on the tip receipt. So Jennifer was bar hopping with her manager Lisa outside of work and asked for advice if Lisa would do that in the same position, faking a tip. The manager had mentioned some things that she learned in a management 3025 course that would help with this decision. The first bullet point she mentioned was the moral rights approach. This is where the ethical decisions focuses on actions and consequences. After that, Lisa went further to mention the universal approach, to tell Barbie to choose a course of action 
that other people would choose to doing the same situation. Another approach that she told her was to think of justice and how this relates to the justice approach. This is where one would outweigh the benefits versus the cost of one's actions. Lisa's final bullet point was that she said to give the thought um, a lot of magnitude over the consequences, such as losing your job and having a criminal record. Uh, Barbie took these to thought and decided that she didn't want to do something unethical. Now we're going to look at episode two. This episode is about increasing the company's revenues and it demonstrates management concepts such as competitive advantage, ethical decisions, and superior value. Steve D., the vice president, has to do something about increasing Hooters revenues. So far, Bob, the CEO, has been useless as he always invites young girls to the place and gives them drinks for free. Jennifer and Barbie do not like this because the main reason why they work there is getting tips. Since most of the customers are invited by Bob, the bill gets compensated by the CEO and there are no tips for the Hooters girls like Jennifer and Barbie. At some point, Barbie was so mad and she wanted to create a bill without Bob or anyone knowing. Jennifer told her that this would be unethical and that she would get fired. Steve D finally convinces Bob to stop doing this because the business is dying. Now his job is to help Hooters maximize their profit. The Hooters' new challenge is to provide value to customers that exceeds what competitors can provide, competitive advantage. There is only one way that Steve can get Hooters back on their feet, and that's by rethinking its business model. The new Hooters promises to maintain critical assets, like the Hooters girls, while rethinking other elements of the business propositions such as more modern uniforms, better quality food, new comfortable chairs, and a decor that looks less like a strip club. Lisa also came up with an amazing idea to produce value for customers that is superior to the value provided by competitors. This is known as superior value. She wants to create a Hooters catering service provided by Hooters girls. It could be the ideal Hooters menu for birthday parties, dinners, meetings, or really any other function. Now we're going to take a look at some general conclusions on management. Management is present in people's everyday lives. Management is efficiency in climbing the ladder of success. Leadership determines whether the ladder is leaning against the right wall. To manage a business well is to manage its future, and to manage the future is to manage information. To conclude, management is analytical thinking and commitment of resources to action. The success of any business depends heavily on the effectiveness of its managers. So organizing, planning, controlling, staffing, leading, this is all intertwined with the main definition of management. Now we're going to take a look at some reflections that will give great insight into our opinions on the class. So this one's by Nicholas. Putting together a TV show isn't easy. Putting together a TV show with a group where no one lives near each other and are taking principles of management online is even tougher. Working with a group that had a deadline every day, starts every Sunday, starts off hard. But as the group began to mesh, the concepts began to almost write themselves. The key to this TV series was to start early and stay on top of the work and leaning on each other to use everyone's strengths. Each week you build on your work so that ideally at the end of the semester it's practically complete. Our friend Eni says, Taking management online was not an easy decision for me. I've always thought that you don't learn much from online classes but this class has completely changed that concept for me. The Finger Puppet Management Framework is an innovative method to promote learning about management through design tools. The framework bridges design thinking and management for learning. Another thing that I've learned from this class is that group work is not always easy. 
you must be calm and positive if your only goal is to succeed. Miss Ree says, for this management class, we the students were placed into groups that were formed by our professor. This would be considered formation, the first stage in group development. As students taking this management course online, we did not get to meet each other beforehand to learn about our different personalities and to form a group on our own. In the beginning of this group, we had to learn about our different work behaviors and what was expected of each of us, what is considered acceptable behavior. We were not assigned the different tasks that we had to complete. We each had to step up to the plate and take the initiative to complete the different tasks within the projects and delegate the work. I can honestly say that my group project did not run into any group conflicts or leadership issues. We all worked cohesively together as a team with the same goal in mind to achieve an A in our management course. It has been a challenge in some aspects, but overall it has been a great learning experience that will take us very far in the next chapters of our lives. I look forward to making a difference in corporate America upon completion of my business management degree. Next up we have Ryan. So he says, going into this course I had experience in management with previous jobs and I was skeptical about this team finger puppet management. We learned how to apply these techniques and worked effectively in our groups. As a group we learned by experimental learning. I felt that the professor took this material and made it humanizing to us as the chapters went on and brought it down to real life examples. I have a better understanding on how to plan and have a strategic management style and process, nature of planning, purpose of planning, and the motivation that goes with it. Values and attitudes for individual was an informative chapter that I will take with me on an everyday journey along with this whole course on how this was taught. This was an intriguing course which made me think outside of the US self culture norm. The style of teaching made the material not as boring and it was fun. It was fun and I can't imagine how much great fun the class lecture will be. Doing the design challenges in class and to see how fast the team gets the shoes to stand the tallest. Last but not least, we have Jet. At the start of this course, I was curious to see how the format of the course would operate. Although I have not had work experience in a management-oriented position, I have worked in jobs where I was closely alongside with the manager to perform various tasks. My curiosity was satisfied as we began learning and utilizing various management tactics in order to effectively operate in the group. I enjoyed the fact that the professor condensed the material into real life scenarios that could be both applied and noticed on a day to day basis. At this point I now have a greater knowledge on how to strategically use management in an environment that is conducive for the growth of the business. Module 10 on communication and negotiation was my favorite chapter in the course because it informed me that effective communication mixed with some form of compromise will be a key formula in the success of a business. This style of teaching livened up the material in a, in a way that was relatable to the students. I will always remember the communication and management skills that I excavated from within due to this class. So now we're going to have a dialogue about our group reflection. Every one of us thought that online classes are boring and a waste of time. This management class, however, has changed our minds as we all loved finger puppet management framework, which is an innovative method to promote learning about management through design tools. Putting together a TV show with a group where no one lives near each other and are taking principles of management online is a strong challenge which helps you learn management concepts quite easily. This was an amazing experience which could help understand management concepts and make a difference in this future. We are forever grateful. Now we're going to give some recommendations for future students. 
This class is not just an online class. The Finger Puppet Management Framework is an innovative method to promote learning about management through design tools. Group work is not always easy. Make sure everyone in your group knows what he or she is doing. Get to know the material by using all the resources provided for you. We also suggest you to create a messaging group because it's an easier way to communicate. Oh, and don't forget, never wait until the due date. If you're going to do it, do it right.